But first off the top at six, ABC 15 tracking breaking news. Northern is closed right now near 43rd Avenue in Glendale. A car crashing right into the gates of Apollo High School overnight. And just in the last 30 minutes or so, police confirming the 27 year old man who was driving that car was rushed to the hospital with life threatening injuries. And it turns out this is not the first time we've seen a crash like this at that school. We want to bring in our Jamie Warren. She's live this morning following up on this. Good morning. Good morning, Kaylee and Nick. This is the second time we've seen a car crash through these high school gates in less than a year. I want to mention this is on the same property of their online learning academy as well. But behind me, you'll see Northern Avenue right now is shut down from about 47th Avenue to 44th Avenue. And this is why a lot of investigators are on scene right now. They're working to find out why this car went barreling through these gates. You see the white vehicle right there with the tire popped off. It must have been going very fast in order to crash through there. We don't know if impairment was a factor. Those are still some questions we're asking, but we are also working to find out if there is some sort of pattern here because this is the second time we've seen a car crash through these gates in less than a year. In September, our ABC 15 team was here after two people died in a crash that sent a car through this same gate. Police say that a 34 year old driver allegedly going 80 miles per hour ran a red light hitting another car while driving down northern. That woman Woman and her passenger both died. The person in the other car was hurt but survived. Now at the time, parents whose kids go to this school told us that unfortunately they weren't surprised. Take a listen. Because uh, there's nobody really follows the road laws out here anymore. The only thing you can do is use caution. You can't control what other people are doing. And to note out here, the speed limit is about 25 miles per hour. And because this is the second time, as I mentioned, that we've seen a car crash through these gates, I reached out to the school district this morning. I wanted to find out if they are making any changes when it comes to this road, maybe something out here uh, to make things safer for families. I'll let you know when I hear back on that one. But for now, I'm going to send things over to our Megan Thompson. She's tracking some alternates for us on this road. Megan.